Hi, welcome everyone. It is so incredibly wonderful to be here today with our amazing panel and the Dr. Sean Jenright, the author of one of my all time favorite books, The Four Pivots. I just want to say a few words about that and I'll introduce myself first. I am Michelle Ariano. I'm the executive director for Centers for Spiritual Living and a minister for Centers for Spiritual Living. So our minister council had Sean, Sean, Dr. Sean came out and spoke and I got online last minute running around and it was like, oh, this looks interesting. And it just drew me in. I was like, oh, I got I, I need more of this. So I went out and bought the book. And when I read the book, it's just transformational. It is. It truly is transformational. And it resonates with our teaching so beautifully. The, the power of who we are as individuals and the power of who we are collectively and how we move about in this new day of being together in this world is the words I would use. And, and so every time I have had an opportunity, I am yelling from the rooftops about the information in this book. And I've, I've spoken with our Latin America ministerial students. I've spoken with our ministerial students here in the States. I've um, spoken with our education uplift. I've talked about it in the field across the board in the community because it is so incredibly important. And I am a firm, firm believer of the inner outer, you know, and, um, and the book really starts with that. It is about who we are individually and, and how we bring that out into the world and the new languaging, and I could keep geeking out, so I'm gonna wrap it up right here. <laughs> the new languaging in this book is the, the languaging that we that really serves the energy that we're calling in. Um, and so with all of that, I am gonna in, introduce our beloved Dr. Andriette Earl to introduce herself and to do an official introduction of Dr. Sean Jenright. Thank you, Michelle. I'm Reverend Dr. Andriette Earl, and I am the senior and founding minister of Heart and Soul Center of Light in Oakland, California. And um, I am just, I'm giddy, frankly, for this opportunity to share my dear brother friend with CSL more broadly. Um, I believe that Sean is, has an amazing, I'm going to call genius heart. It's that heart mind connection where he has managed to do the work in the community. That's actually how I met Sean, is he was busy, knee deep, shoulder deep in community work, working with youth. And I was, I am involved in a national uh, mentoring organization locally in Oakland. And so that's how we, we came together and I loved him immediately because of his absolute commitment and that he is unapologetic about Black youngsters and the importance of someone standing fiercely for their highest and best. And so that's how I first came to know him and love him simultaneously. And I want to share his bio with you because in some circles, I feel like maybe what I said is enough, but there's a greater depth to Dr. Sean that I want you to understand and have a sense of in terms of the breadth and scope of his life work to date, because he is cutting it up. So here's what I want you to know about Dr. Sean Jenright in terms of his formal bio. That Dr. Sean Jenright is the Jerome T. Murphy Professor of Practice at Harvard Graduate School of Education. His groundbreaking work on trauma, healing, and the empowerment of African American youth has earned him a reputation as an innovator, 
provocateur, and thought leader in the field of education. Dr. Jim Wright's vision is rooted in his extensive experience working directly with young people in urban communities. From grassroots initiatives to serving as the chairman of the board of a $5 billion foundation, he has consistently demonstrated his passion for empowering marginalized youth. Dr. Jen Wright's research has been instrumental in reshaping the discourse surrounding youth development. His introduction of the concept of healing, of healing-centered engagement in 2018 has revolutionized the field, providing an asset-based approach to addressing youth trauma and fostering resilience. His work has been cited in the New York Times, and he is a highly sought-after speaker on topics ranging from civic engagement and youth activism to the transformative power of healing. Dr. Jen Wright's contributions extend beyond his academic work. He is a seasoned nonprofit leader, serving as the co-founder and chief executive officer of Flourish Agenda, Inc., a research lab and consulting firm dedicated to unlocking the power of healing and empowering youth of color, as well as their adult allies, to drive transformative change in their schools and communities. In recognition of his exceptional research and dedication to urban youth, he was awarded the prestigious Fulbright Senior Specialist Award from the U.S. State Department in 2011. He is also the former chairman of the board for the California Endowment, where he oversaw, where he oversaw a substantial $5 billion endowment dedicated to improving the health of underserved communities. A notable author, Dr. Jim Wright has written numerous highly acclaimed books, including The Four Pivots, Reimagining Justice, Reimagining Ourselves. He also wrote Hope and Healing in Urban Education, How Urban Activists and Teachers Are Reclaiming Matters of the Heart, Black Youth Rising, Activism and Radical Healing in Urban America, and Black in School, An Afrocentric Reform, Urban Youth, and the Promise of Hip-Hop Culture. Additionally, he has co-edited the influential volume, Beyond Resistance, Youth Activism and Community Change, New Democratic Possibilities for Practice and Policy for America's Youth. Dr. Sean Jenright resides between Boston, Massachusetts and Oakland, California, and continues to drive transformative change in education. His relentless dedication to empowering marginalized youth and creating inclusive spaces for healing and growth is truly inspiring. To learn more about his impactful work, you can visit seanjenright.com. Dr. Sean, we love you. We love your contribution to community. And I am, we are excited, thrilled, enthusiastic about your willingness, your full-throated yes to Centers for Spiritual Living and doing this work beginning with this time together today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you Thank so you. much, Reverend Andrea. Thank you so much.